Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Karabu, and welcome to the start of something that I was probably going to cave into anyway, because for some reason it's going around like wildfire. What the hell? There we go. Doki Doki Literature Club. These games are all over the place. It was something that I already had like decided that I was probably going to do eventually, but I didn't know that it was going to... I see people playing this game all over the place, but I, def I haven't like seen any actual in-game footage. I've just seen the fact that people have uploaded a lot of gameplay of this. And I caved, okay? I caved into the idea that I must do this. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen. Doggy, Doggy Literature Club. Let's get into it. Well... Anime! Let's do this. Uh. <laughs> I still don't sound like Sanji Saturday. What? Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. I'm better at this than I thought I was! I have dyslexia! I have ADHD! This shouldn't be going well. Normally it doesn't. I jinx myself. Well, I fucked that one up. Per usual. <laughs> Alright. I did that. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were in chil since we were children. I almost said in children. <laughs> what? Try to hide my clown hair behind my, my hat. You know, the, the kind of friends you'd never see yourself making today, but it kind of just works out because you've known each other for so long. Okay. That's obviously not what it says, but I'm going to make believe that's what it says. We used to walk together, we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost get feel better off running away. However, I just sat and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ugh. Excuse me. Ha! Ha! I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, <laughs> you say that like you were waiting and thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Cat Apple. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Should not have named myself Cat Apple. But that is my name in Japanese and the name of the channel. Well, if people start, well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you didn't have it in you to be mean even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Once again, a school setting. I love it. By the way, Caribou, have you ever decided to join a club? Or, have you decided on a club to join yet? There you go. Aha. A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in, in j joining any clubs unless it's like the clown club because of my hair. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you wanted to join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. So he already likes to worry a little bit too much about me, and then, and when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending all my free time on games and anime. By the way, I forgot to mention why I'm using face scan on this game. I'm using it because I don't know. I my face. I haven't used face cam in a while. I've started to iron the kinks out as far as my green screen goes, but um, I'm still working out some of the kinks. So if you see some green spots here and there, I apologize in advance. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Are they like, are they like talking to the person that's playing this game or something? Your happiness is really important to me, you know? You don't know me. And I know you're happy now, but I thought I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Thanks. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep wor worrying about you. All right, all right, Jesus. 
I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me that you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything that's inside my head. Or her head. <laughs> God dang it. The school is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Oh, the school day's over! Whoa! <laughs> After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sam wants me to check out some clubs. Guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. You have a choice not to do it. Grow a pair. Hello! Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. God dang it, I space out too much. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're wor even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Well, that you would come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm joining your club. Yeah, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited this, the title vice president. Yay! That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club! Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Of course you did! Guilting me into the situation is not a good way of being a friend, Sayori. I don't like that. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Oh, even, even more guilt. Whoever this Natsuki chick is. <laughs> oh, make promise you can't keep, Sayori. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. On our way to the literature club. And thus today marks the day I showed myself for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes for and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill that atmosphere. Ah, Garibu, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the literature club. Wait, how does she know me? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute Girls! <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! Sorry! <laughs> Natsuki. Huh. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Damn, son. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can't just. You can just ignore her when she's moody. She gets, all right, whatever. So she shares that quietly into my ear, then, oh. She, oh, uh, now ignore her. There you go. Then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the class. Don't say it like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, Mature and timid seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. 
Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Caribou. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Adjust my back brace. Sexy back brace. Ugh. Ugh. Monica has probably was probably the most popular in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Caribou. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. Hide the clown hair. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Jesus, what the hell? Sorry, I got a little too excited. You did nothing wrong. What the hell? Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been whitened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped towel and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Yeah. Natsuki lifts the foil over the off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes directed to look like little cats. Aw, how cook. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate for you to make their little cat ears. How adorable. <laughs> okay! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just a hurry and take one! Sundaras are wonderful. <laughs> Sayori grabs one first, then, Tonic, then Monica. I follow. <sighs> it's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good! Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's, it's not like I... FUN! Haven't I heard this somewhere before? In every manga ever? Made them for you or anything? Oh. Yeah, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe! But n not for you, you, you know, you dummy! Alright. <laughs> I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss, and dismiss the conversation, thank God. Yori returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup tea in front of each of us before shutting down a, a, a teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the, cla the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading all might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I don't know who this caribou guy is and how much tea he's been drinking in his lifetime, but I don't recognize him. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Aww. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Uh, <laughs> pretty girl questions. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? 
As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm pretty surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any major club. Weren't you a leader of the DeBlake Club last year? <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather... I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, and I'm, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica seems like a really good leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something you, that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the, fest the festival that much more important. Okay, I was saying that right. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. How endearing. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. It's really awkward how all three of them are staring at me. She's got her eyes closed, so I don't really count it. Uh, though I, don't, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature stuff staring at me. So caribou. Oh, that's not, that's not her voice. I gotta try and go a little deeper. So, Caribou, what's ki what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, manga? Consider how little I've read these past few years. I don't really have a good way of answering that. Oh. Whoo! Manga! <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half-jokingly. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wanted to say something, but she keeps quiet. She's probably interested in manga. That's why she said it. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? <laughs> In both sense. I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, about what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Wow, you're interesting. And tell a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds herself com finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, like a lot of things, stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Why is everyone playing this game? Is it just like one of those random games that people were just like, that's gonna be a hit! I'm 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 trying I'm trying to see I'm trying to see I'm trying to see the hook here. Where's my hook? Hook me, hook me, daddy. To completely throw. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a, I read a horror book once. Was it Goosebumps? <laughs> I desperately grab something I can relate to at the minimal level. Goosebumps. <laughs> At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. I've got a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ah! Uh, I hate horror! Oh, 
Why is that? <laughs> well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. What the hell's her problem? Stop looking at me. Never mind. It's what the psychological home is with Sundaras, man. I don't get it. I really don't get it. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Oh, boy. What? Why is she nervous about that? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last cup club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. See how he said... Siddles? Let's just use that word. Up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulder. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you wrote, write your own poems? Uh, oh, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Nigga. I'm trying, that's why! I gotta try! You're not making it easy! I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your writers exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them the, even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example for, and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Where's the hook in this game? <laughs> I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment, breathing in the awkwardness. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Mm. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Yay! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all... Get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Catabu? Monica smiles warmingly at me once again. God dang it. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Say so I may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm, I'm sorry, I thought... Cat apple? <laughs> God dang it! What is this? You all... I'll give it! Pretty girls make dick go BOOM! You all, I'm defenseless against these pretty girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if I write, if writing poems is the price I need to pay and always be every day with these beautiful girls, I'll do it every day! Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the dick, I mean literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arm around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Yeah. I actually think that's what he really came for. Then let's make it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Yay. Aw, oh, thanks, I guess. 
<laughs> okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Caribou, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, my my pee pee is hard. <laughs> I'm making this all messed up. I really just think this is what you say. I don't see the hook. Where's the hook? Hook me in. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my m mediocre writing skills? <laughs> I say yes. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Caribou, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sue, and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, I might as well. Yay! Did it. Okay, now it's talk time. Because I've decided that I still need to find the fucking hook here. I, I still need to find the hook. What's gonna hook me in? I don't see the hook. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not falling for the bait because it's the same bait in every one of these games. Cute girl makes me happy. Cute girl makes me sad. Cute girl does this. I would like to see an interesting plot in one of these games. And everyone's playing it. And I would like to see where this is going. But since we're here and since we're already on the topic, let me just go ahead and take this out since I don't have to read anymore. Since we're already on this topic... I'll just give my opinion on how I'm feeling about these girls. They're all obviously stereotypes of anime. Uh, basic anime girls. The confident one is the president, obviously. The pretty one. Uh, we got the, 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 the young, the, basically the younger sister type. Or the Sundara, or whatever you want to call her. She's basically both those types mixed into one. Uh, we got, we, we got the, the reserved quiet type. Obviously. And then we got the neighbor type that was always there for us and is annoying and clingy. So far, I'm leaning toward the... <laughs> uh, what the hell's wrong with me? I always, I always, always, always complain about the Sundaras. And then I, I, I end up choosing them because... I actually like them. I have a love-hate re relationship with Sundaras, man. Because I find it kind of cute in one way. But there's the other side, which is just pure unadulterated hatred for the fact that they can't be honest with their feelings. Or at least they're, they, they're just so mean about it. That's more like it. Because they're just so mean about it. But other than that... I'm just going to move on to the next episode, so I'm probably going to end up posting both those episodes in the same day, so uh, click over for the next episode, and we're going to continue some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.